Um, I'd just like to kind of reiterate Vaughn Allen's and point out to you with those new projects that we're looking at, that's over 300 new jobs that we're potentially looking at our community um, for, you know, announcements in 2015, 2014, when they're looking, or 2014, 2015, when they're looking to make their decision. Um, I'd also really like to point out to you how important our existing industries are to, are to us and that just in this report alone, that's 294 new jobs that would be created in this community and a $15.2 million capital investment. So, I mean, that's just as much as those new projects that you're looking at up at the top of the page. And that's what your existing industries are already doing in your community. So, um, thank you to them. And that's why we have the existing industry program that we have and why Manufacturing Appreciation Week is important to us. So, I'd just like to go ahead and point that out. But also to help um, talk about our business development opportunities, we have identified in addition to the three projects that we're working, these are new leads that we are working, so these are companies that we have identified that are in the very beginning phases of starting to look and are considering expansion opportunities or whether it be um, cost of doing business, growth in their markets, um, employment, opportunities and additional skill sets that they're looking for. We've identified six new companies that we're working with. Um, and you can see that um, two are companies that are in the plastic molding business. One is in the automotive area, a food processing, and then two in the aerospace industry that we're looking for. These are some that we have generated on our own, not, in, you know, not relying on anybody else to do that for us. Um, as you recall, I went to Atlanta um, on another visit May 5th through 7th where we went with um, our regional partners. We met with our statewide delegation as well as Department of Economic Development and Leadership and just talked about our community and what we're struggling with in South Georgia and the need to have more visibility here. And I know the chairman and the mayor and all of you have been instrumental in helping us try to get that message out as well as our local, de our state delegation as well. Um, Met with, uh, did another consultant trip to Atlanta and met with five of them <coughs> um, to continue to build our relationships. And I would tell you that we actually have a very good relationship with one of the projects that Alan just mentioned with. So I was able to pick up the phone and call her today. And um, that's good for us to have those relationships. So she feels okay to call us and not necessarily to call the state, but can talk to us directly to give the full breath for, for us that we can do. Um, let's see. I talked to you about South Georgia Classic, um, things that we're doing there. As you know, we're all planning on our uh, work session that we'll be hosting in May. I think, I hope all of you find it very interesting. We'll have a consultant actually talk with us about the site selection process. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be doing this at the Resource Center in Atlanta, and they will show you how they utilize the Resource Center when they're working with these projects that we get from the state or these larger site projects. Um, what that process is, what our community is doing, and how we're showing, and we'll talk through some of that. And then we'll also talk about, um, you know, hear from what Georgia Power and Economic Development Department's doing as well for that. So I'm looking forward to that work session. We've also extended invitations to the city and the county and other entities to join us. So we're thankful for their participation and their commitment and support of what we do. And I'd like to thank all the board members who are taking time out of their personal and work lives to go to Atlanta. I've met a few of the people that are, have agreed to speak to us, and it's well worth our while that we go out there, up there and hear it from the horse's mouth. So thank you for being willing to give your personal time to go do that. And we're thrilled that the city and the county have both indicated they're going to try to be there with us. Well, I will host a breakfast that morning for our project managers, and what that does is when all of us show up as a community, it really speaks that we're committed to economic development and that we'll make it happen. And that we all stand together. So, um, attended the food automation and manufacturing show. You know, food processing is one of our target markets, and uh, it was a really good show. And hopefully, we'll come back, we'll come back with a lot of new contacts and new information, and we'll go from there. Um, we also hosted a meeting with the Department of Agriculture to talk more about food processing. And I don't know if any of you knew this, but out of Georgia's 13%, and I'm sure Gretchen probably does know this, um, out of Georgia's gross domestic product, 13% of that is agricultural related. 10% of, of that is actually grown in our region. 
So um, a lot of that is outgoing from him. So very interesting. And you rattled off for me a, a very impressive list of everyone that we are working with now or, or existing industries that are in what people would consider the food processing industry. Could you do that for this group? Yeah, sure. So, um, I don't know, are all of you familiar with Coggins Farms and what they do for the food processing? So right now they're doing carrots, and they also do green beans, and they also do sweet potatoes, and they're increasing their sweet potato production, blueberries. Um, we also have South Forge Pecan in food processing. They're the largest processor of pecan jewel. They produce over 100 million pounds a year, um, and they're looking to see that continue to grow. Um, Martin's famous pastry is food production as well, if you'll remember that. ADM, Archer Daniel Mid Midland, is food production. They produce um, oil as well as um, pet foods and things like that that we have. Yeah, I can remember all of them on the yes. spur of the moment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I put you on the spot, but you did a great job before. I was so impressed. Yeah, you hit March, you hit March. Uh, fresh Beginnings, we also have Fresh, fresh Beginnings, beginning, which is about right. 85 in the bakery that South they have for the cookies, and that's the only place that they do there that year. I don't know how many employees you know that Fresh Beginnings has 85 on the bakery side, but on the E-Lead side, they have close to 700 employees here in our community, and would love to have more. Um, then we also have... That was pretty good on the spot. Oh, okay. I, it was impressive, the list, if you started rattling them off. It's quite a list of food processes. We all need to be better educated on that. Sunnyland. Yeah, Sunnyland. Okay, Sunnyland. Okay, thank you for letting me do that to you. I knew I did not get some much. Sorry. That concludes my report, I'm sure. Okay, and then uh, as several of you know, and we thank the board members that have also been part of this effort, we have done a considerable look at our bylaws. And then